Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm gonna to try and banish slugs completely. Well, completely from one bed as a trial, but this could, this could be monumental. So let's give you a little bit of the background of why I kind of want to do it and why one particular bed. And this is not the bed, what I'm going to do, but it's because of the salad. I do want salad to get messed up by slugs. Now, this bed is, and as you can see, I've kind of planted it pretty close together because that's this bed, hopefully, and it's looking, I'll be honest, it's looking quite nice. It's going to be just a bed for picking leaves, you know, as quick as I can I get them. But we just walk over to this bed over here, which is probably out of the whole garden, the one that's, you know, in the shade the most, and like as best of shade, I can say. So I want a nice shady bed, but I also want to put salad in here to get them like a little bit more established. And as you can see, I'm kind of oodles of salad coming on, bursting at the seams. It'd be actually quite nice just to cut all that back and just get it. And I've got salad down there as well. And you know, the, that's all right. But the, the little tender ones, you know, it's just prime, prime food for slugs. And that, on this site, slugs is probably, for me, the dominant predator. Now I will be using, in a few weeks time, when I get my hands on some, some nematodes to go right across the beds and I'll do that treatment every six, six to eight weeks. But today, we are, we, we're using tools as well. So, warning. Yes, you know that staple gun? I've got that, and this is what I'm talking about, copper tape. Now I've used copper tape before, in fact this one, and I think I got good results, I'll show you. So if I can just go down here, you can see the remnants of the copper tape on there. And two issues with that. It's very thin, so thin in fact that Slugs could probably take a good run and jump and get over it. And it wasn't that sticky. So this is where the new improved method is coming in. So before I show you that, just a little, do think about subscribing. That would be fantastic. Hit the thumbs up, the bell icon, so you're notified every time. And it just means like when I put out a video, you'll, you'll be up to date. It doesn't cost you anything, don't worry about that. It's just, you can get to know what I'm kind of putting out on videos. Subscribe will be fantastic. So, look at the size of this. Yes, now I got this from Zalva. I think it was just on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it down in the instructions in the comments below. But this is, I'm, you're probably talking maybe nearly two inches in width. Now I'm not that bothered about stickiness because I have got the staple gun. So the whole idea is to kind of go right round that bed and punch it in with the staple gun. That's the idea. A couple of issues before. <laughs> quite One quite a big issue. Let me take you over there first and just show you. So basically I want to obviously go right round the bed and Somewhere along here, I might have to just run it across that top. Round that back would be okay. Probably get round there. But then we're going to have to do some some moving of some, ve or, you know, temporary moving of some very big pieces of timber. Then I think I'll be able to just tack it along there as well. That's, that's, that's heavy wood. Now this actual, just even moving these bits of wood, you can see, you know, it's a little haven for the critters that will get me salad. So, need to sort this out. I 
I think we'll start with the easy little stretch first, just to make sure everything goes all right. Actually, that's got nice sticking power anyways, but just to be just to make sure I want to finish it off with that gun I just need to do that side now I think it's probably best really ideally should be both sides stop them coming in <laughs> way as well because I've got as you can see I've got a few salads now I've got that little actually that one that side as well will be a little bit chewy as well but we'll try and just feed it along then hopefully I can get in with the the stable gun well let's see if that keeps them off like I say I'm going to use nematodes as well but I think it's a it's a battle on all fronts so you've got to <laughs> you've got to fight there's probably enough to do maybe three eight foot beds with this one roll so I would like to know if you have used a thicker tape is this just old wives tail the copper or not but I know what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get some salad and I'll show you which salad I'm gonna put in there right I'm gonna put I think three different types in some Paris cos some Romania cos and um, I forget I'm not 100% sure what this is there actually there's another one there as well let's have a look got a label Ashbrook so we'll get them in give it a good water and hopefully Slugs and snails stay off this. Well, hopefully, that's one good deterrent. We will, we, time will tell. Look after yourselves, take good care.